The CIA claims torture works. No touch torture is a whole new topic, a whole new category. Most people don't believe it's happening. You can be tortured in your own home. No one will believe you. But this is torture, and I want there to be no doubt about it. This is torture, destruction of life, and a destruction to misery for all, all these people, for the innocent Americans. And it's a it's a war crime. It's a crime against humanity, for sure. They're trying to grasp all sorts of data uh, from, uh, you know, how effective can we make them kill each other themselves. How do you make a rational player go down to walk them to their death? The first logical thing they do is go to the police. Well, the police can't help you. They don't know. <laughs> like, uh, they're going to give you a lockup and a you know, 72 hours and a psych ward. One of the men behind the technology admits he created a monster. Dr. Robert Duncan put together the technology that allows the government to transmit thoughts and voices into the heads of Americans. I've worked on projects for the CIA, Justice Department, Department of Defense. So you know for a fact that these weapons that you worked on, they're being used domestically today? Absolutely. Are there citizens of this country that are being abused with this technology? Worse than abuse, that's a light word. They're being tortured. They easily could be broadcasting across the country messages to people and causing them extreme pain. We've run into a few people that claim they got voices in their head. When they talk to us, they seem totally normal. Are these people crazy or is the government doing this to them? The, the government's doing this to them. They're called voice of God weapons. So the targeted individuals aren't crazy after all. These are people within our government at a certain level making these decisions and they're not necessarily our president or our elected officials. That's exactly right. They can't be removed and they're difficult to find. They, they hide in the dark crevices of our government. The, these technologies that are being torturing people around the world, uh, these type of weapons that can make you kill yourself or others, they hide it in their news broadcasts. Oh, he's just crazy. You know, they don't go any deeper. The colonel said, you can pipe voices in someone's head. I will find a way to talk them to their death. You know, I know a, a couple high-level FBI, former FBI, they retired after 20, in their 25 years of service or whatever. And they talk about how corrupt their agencies were. And those at the very top are very conniving. And as long as they can get away with it, uh, they will. If the highest level of sort of criminal justice has failed this country, there is no hope.